a lovely sunny day at the seaside. But I wonder what the altitude of the sun is, which is the angle from the horizon to the bottom of the sun. I wonder how I can measure it. Well, we can measure it using this device here. This is a sextant. It has a number of different parts to it. I'll just clamp that in place so it's hands-free, you see. A number of different parts to it. Let's move the camera up. Right, on the top here, we have a mirror. Then we have... Come on, get in focus. There we go. So we've got a mirror at the top. We've got another thing here, which is half mirror, half window. There's a hole over here. And then we've got this scaler here. And I don't know if you can see this, but the scale in degrees starts from zero. It goes 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 130 degrees. And then we've got this part here, this arm, which moves. And as it moves, the mirror on the top moves as well. Let's get a closer look at that arm. Right, now here's the arm up close. It's a vernier scale. You can see that if I line up the 60 with 50, 60 on the vernier with 50 on the main scale, then the zero lines up with the notch just before the 40. Now, this has, along here, arc minutes, and every small notch is five arc minutes. It's be very important. So six lots of five arc minutes is 30 arc minutes, half a degree, 60 lots, uh, sorry, uh, let's get this right. So 12 lots of five arc minutes is 60 arc minutes, which is one degree. So that's how our vernier scale works there. Now let's look at this top end here. So we've got the main mirror there. This is the mirror, which is half mirror, half window. But this bit here is a hole that we can look through. And there is also a filter which we can slide across so that if we're looking at something quite bright or if we want to preserve our dark adapted vision, this is a little red filter that's going to help us with that. Just be warned, that red filter is not good enough to stare at the sun. It really isn't. So let's just slide that back. We don't need the red filter because I'm not going to be preserving my dark adapted vision. Right, so let's have a look at that half mirror. The half mirror is exactly what it sounds like. We've got, stop it from moving around a bit. Oh, it's out of focus. I suspect we're going to have a constant battle with mirror, uh, with camera focus in this video. So we've got a mirror here, as you can see, and here is just a window. It's a hole that the light's going to pass through. The good ones have crosshairs and telescopes are connected to them. This one doesn't have any of that. This is just a very simple sextant to show the principle of operation. So what is that principle of operation? Well, we're going to look through the hole, which is here, here um, and we're going to look through here light from the horizon is going to come in reflect off this top mirror reflect off here and then go through that hole and we're going to see it so this is looking through the hole and it's about as good as i'm ever going to get the whole equipment's very wobbly look if i walk around it all shakes because of my rather dodgy wobbly clamp stands but there we go on the left hand side is just the image of Let's pass uh, the light that's going through that hole. The right-hand side, that's where the mirror is. So if I place my hand here like this, the mirror is on the right. You see it's not quite lined up. But that's okay. The fact it's not quite lined up needs to be measured. So I look at my uh, vernier scale to determine what the zero error is for the altitude of the horizon, which should be zero degrees. Now when I measure that, it's coming out as one, two, three. Between three and four, it looks closer to four, actually. Let's yeah, say four. Four lots of five arc minutes. So that's 20 arc minutes, zero error. So the uh, altitude that I am measuring for the horizon is 20 arc minutes too high, so I will have to subtract 20 arc minutes from every altitude measurement I take. Now what I'm going to do is adjust the position of that top mirror so that the light that passes through the half mirror is coming from higher up, from a higher altitude. So let's rotate and, oh, hello, there's the sun. And usually we line up the bottom of the sun with the horizon. And we could position it so we can get half the sun and so on and so on. Obviously, you wouldn't 
be looking at the sun through this one, as I've already mentioned. Don't look directly at the sun. There isn't a proper filter on this. This red filter that is not going to protect your eyes from the sun, although because I wrote on the board with an orange pen, which is reflecting mostly red light and white light, um, the red filter appears to have made the sun vanish. That's an interesting little physics effect, but it doesn't matter. That's not what I'm actually looking at. So we're now going to adjust the position of the mirror so that the sun is lined up with the horizon. And now I can read off our vernier again. And it's currently reading 8 degrees and... Oh, I reckon that's pretty much spot on 30 arc minutes. 8 degrees and 30 arc minutes, but of course I have to subtract the 20 arc minutes um, of zero error. So that gives me 80, uh, 8 degrees and 10 arc minutes as the altitude of the sun. So there's that vernier I was just talking about. You can see that the arrow here has gone past the eight degrees, but not the nine degrees. And I reckon that this one here at the 30 arc minutes is the one that lines up the best, which is why I said eight degrees and 30 arc minutes, which subtract the zero error is eight degrees and 10 arc minutes. So there we go. That's how you use a sextant.